Hi all right guys, it's Ross back from Complete Android Solutions. Uh, this video, kind of a bit of everything video. Um, what this is, is a lot of people asking, you know, what makes you so different from every other Tom, Dick and Harry selling Android box on Andro um, on Gumtree, even on eBay, or, you know, anything else, any online forums or anything. And uh, mainly it's, it's software. Um, a lot of these boxes you take out the box and you get a sort of complete stock Android. What that is, it's basically get just the, the Android launcher by itself, you don't get any of these apps or anything. And which is great if you're savvy. I mean if you if you know what you're doing, you know, smashing you might say we sell a tenner and you might go out buy one of these, get all your own apps, install all your own stuff on, you know, you can get everything working, you can tweak it the way you like it. Um, but truth be told for average sort of job blogs, um, they're not very nice to use, you know, they they're just clunky. What happens is basically you get introduced to a screen that looks a little bit like this. I'll try and show you. Uh, let's see if I can get this fired up. There we go, that's what I wanted. There you go. So you're introduced to a screen like this, which you look and it, you've just took it out of the box, and you're like, well, what the hell is this? And what it is, like I say, I mean, these are just random apps that people have just stuck on there, just settings. Um, browsers, file browser I'm guessing, um, pictures, calendar, who on earth wants a calendar? <laughs> I've got no idea what that is. Um, so what would happen is basically be introduced to the screen, go what on earth am I doing here? You would click on this little button here to get your apps up and then you'd have all these apps which is great but you wouldn't have any of my apps installed um, and you'd just be left with all these random programs where you're like well what on earth do I do now? Which is not what we want really. I know it's not what anyone likes. So I'm just gonna put it back to the way that mine should be. By the way, this is just a text test box. It won't be able to do with us with yours. Just because it'll just cause hassle. So yeah, you're back to my screen. As you can see now, when you turn mine on, you've got movies, TV shows, Netflix, YouTube settings, everything's nicely laid out. If you want all your apps, you just go to the right hand side of the screen. You've you've got all your apps in nicely nicely laid out, sort of thing, nothing too confusing, nothing too ridiculous, which is what you want. If you're on a TV you want to just turn on for it to work, nothing too fancy. So, the box themselves, you, you just know what they're doing now. You know, you've seen the movies, you've seen the TV shows, you've seen the XBMC, you've seen the settings, but you've got things like YouTube, which, I'll fire this up. And there's YouTube, uh, custom TV YouTube, which is really good. Um, so you can browse out with the kids and whatnot, find any funny videos with your mates. And uh, Netflix, of course, your normal Netflix account will work on there. But you've also got other things. You've got things like browser. Um, the browser itself is a completely flash supported browser. So if you launch this, I'll just show you. I mean, I know a lot of the people that I've been selling to at the moment um, have been connecting wireless keyboards and mice up just so that they work. So I'll just make a new tab. And you see, it's a bit like what you get in your home screen. Uh, sorry, you put it on your, you know, your computer at home. So we'll just knock that off because it's flashing. There you go. And there, that, that's it. So obviously you've got your browser with Flash enabled. You've got your things like your Facebook. You've got your file browsers. They, there's the Flash coming to speak about. You've got your things like your music player as well. Um, you'll notice on your actual remote, sorry if you have a look at it, you've got things like photos, music, files. All that buttons work. They all work absolutely smashing. If you click music, which I'm about to do, you'll see straight away you get your music player. You know, nice and straightforward. Just the way I think should be really nothing ridiculous. Um, not only that though, which is great, you've got your Gmail, checking your emails and on the go. Uh, you've got Talk, you've got Skype. Um, I have checked this as well to make sure it works. If you plug in an external webcam, it will work fine. No drivers need to be installed. You plug it in and it works, which is smashing. Um, and you've also got things like your Play Store as well. Where is it? There it is. Um, so you can go on there, you can download all your apps as well, You know, which is great. So if there's anything on here where you're thinking, you know, I like this box, but I wish I had this app, like, I don't know, BBC iPlayer, ITV Player, you get the drift. You can go on there, go to the Play Store and install it, and it works absolutely fine. So yeah, that's it, guys, basically, this is just a quick overview, just so you can see the difference between these other boxes and my box, because, like I say, it's mainly just the software, and, you know, just so you can see everything else. Right, that's it, great. Thanks, people. Bye now.